The latest GoPro was just released and if you're like me, you're probably convinced that the upgrade is exactly what your current ride footage is missing. Well, here's a $450 saving tip. It isn't. What you're actually missing are just some fresh angles to spice up your footage. Because the truth is that most modern action cameras are brilliant pieces of technology. And we're all just a little bored of the same old GoPro angles day in and day out. So today I've got four ridiculous mounts to revive your old GoPro by capturing some unique angles on your next adventure. Let's kick things off with the only mount you won't want to be caught wearing during a lightning storm. Now, I have no doubt that you've seen something similar to this Viho Movie X-Pack before, but I guarantee you not at this price. It's exactly what you would expect from a quick glance. It's a backpack with a steel pole sticking out the side of it and a GoPro mount on the very end to get shots towering above your head. But what you probably wouldn't expect from the Chinese Viho movie name is that it's actually built very well and gets some incredible angles. All the important stuff happens inside the backpack. There's a thick plastic backboard conformed to the shape of your back to give it the rigidity it needs and a horizontal pipe to attach the required pieces of scaffolding. And although the zips crudely close around the pole sticking out, they are lovely zips and the back has enough padding that you'd assume this is going to be a very uncomfortable experience. Except that once it's secured with its hip straps and chest straps, it's instantly forgotten. Well, unless you're trying to walk around the house, that is. Surprisingly, it doesn't catch the wind or act as a lever. It just sits there quietly, capturing any creative angle you ask of it. It comes with a selection of poles, of which I instantly opted for the longest one and adjusted it to its highest setting. I did however replace the screws on the mount with thumb screws for my convenience, but with its adjustability and rotation, the only limitation is your creativity. Of course, you do get a few strange looks from the passing traffic but the shots that it gets are completely worth it. And even with its inner workings, there's still a bit of leftover space for regular backpack activities, like another GoPro mount for example. A wrist strap mount is not a mount I would suggest to anyone, for any sport, at any time, because that's a very bad vantage point to film from. But motorcycles might just be the exception. Hear me out. It snugly straps around your wrist and allows you to rotate the camera in any direction you wish, assuming you can put up with this delightful noise. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this is a flawless mount because it's definitely not an angle you would want to watch all day. In fact, most of the time, it gets rubbish footage like this. But when you do get going and your arm is fully extended in the riding position, it is able to get a different perspective of the typical view facing the rider. Mildly exciting, I know, but its real party trick is that since it's attached to you and not the bike, you can get multiple angles from that one mount because you've effectively turned your arm into a selfie stick. 
except a selfie stick that is a lot easier to control while riding a motorcycle than a real selfie stick. And despite its name, it isn't limited to specific limbs. So between the bad footage, there is bound to be some special shots captured that will fit perfectly into a video. That quirky little sound you can hear is the sound of the Subtic 360. And its purpose in life is simply to spin, which it does seem pretty good at. It's made its way into this selection of mounts, despite not being able to mount to your bike, with the intention of bringing life to your off the bike shots. Because even with the most extravagant angles, eventually riding footage does become a bit repetitive. It's got an LCD display, a turntable, and a tripod mount both top and bottom, allowing you to mount your camera onto it. It can then be placed down or mounted to a tripod of sorts and allows you to decide between a variety of degrees of rotation duration of its rotations and even throws in a few fancy moves so you don't get too dizzy. It might look basic but it kept me entertained for far longer than it probably should have. Of course, it is kind of just a mechanical version of what a 360 camera could already do all by itself. However, it costs a lot less than a 360 camera and even comes with everything you'll need to set up your phone or a real camera. If you're a fan of the perspective that a GoPro chesty mount can get you on a motorcycle, then you'll definitely appreciate this Polar Pro backpack strap mount. It's clamped to the strap of any backpack with these awesome blue thumb screws. And then a GoPro can easily be attached with the quick release plate. What you get is effectively an improved experience of the chesty mount. It's a lot easier to put on compared to the chesty and you don't get tangled in the never ending supply of straps. It also sits slightly off to the side rather than dead center, meaning the tank isn't blocking your view 90% of the ride. result is a pretty immersive angle, thanks to your body moving independently to the bike. People also seem to take less notice of it in its inconspicuous location compared to a typical helmet mount and could easily be used for activities beyond motorcycles. Assuming there is life after motorcycles that is. But anyway, there you have a few ridiculous mounts to revive your current GoPro and hopefully inspire you to get out on some new adventures. Let me know which angle you enjoyed the most and which mounts I've been missing out on all this time. And I'll see you on the next ride.